Melbourne at the ICV uh, who seals the tank, uh, which unfortunately is the other side of Melbourne, uh, Adelaide that way. It's, it is hard to get through Melbourne, but um, hopefully, well, we certainly get to Adelaide, and then maybe we get back to Bendigo, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit scared that I might not get all the way back to Melbourne. Well, it'll be my first automatic, but when I heard about the six-speed automatic, I thought, wow, this should really do a nice economy compared to the, the normal perception of a manual being better. But it could also be that for the average driver, that a six-speed automatic is the way to go because it's foolproof. This six-speed will do the thinking for most drivers who are not really used to driving economically. We all have to now do more with less to save the environment. With a car like this, the car saves so much fuel that you are actually saving the environment while you're saving yourself money every time you refuel. This car is doing more with less because you can, you can buy it for less, it uses less fuel, but it, it gives you the same driving comfort. It's the same quality as, as many a vehicle that's twice as expensive. And, and because of this high-tech diesel, you're doing much more with less fuel. So, I mean, it, it is the car for, for today, it's the car for the greenhouse situation, and, and it's a car for the economical times. You don't have to drive a hybrid to achieve tremendous fuel economy. But low CO2 and excellent mileage are the two key benefits of the new R-Series turbo diesel engine. Here we are on the famous Eagle on the Hill, and behind me is Adelaide. When the wind was really bad yesterday, I got uh, 5.1. Uh, the wind died a little bit, and I eased off a bit, and, and managed to get it just below five. Well, I think this new six-speed automatic SUV is really my EUV, the economy utility vehicle. It certainly is the economy that you don't expect in SUVs. And the little girl and I will try to get back to Melbourne, but headwinds and rain is certainly not helping our cause. I've driven this car now for 22 hours in two days, and it is extremely comfortable and very well equipped. We've just covered 1,446 kilometers and consumed only 70.23 liters. That's 4.85 liters per 100 kilometers, or 20.5 kilometers per liter. Way beyond my expectations. And you can go down, and you can come up, and forward, back. It's magic. Glad I'm not a little child, I'd be playing all the time. <laughs>